Welcome everybody, welcome to Content is Profit Late Night Edition. Uh, yeah, it's just me today. Today I'm doing a little bit of a solo episode because uh, Fonzie was in a whole day event. Shout out to Michelle, oh, our awesome partner Michelle Abraham. They have an amazing event called Podpalooza and Fonzie was there all day. He recorded like three interviews. So he was like, guys, I'm out. I'm going to go play some soccer. And uh, I was with the kiddos. I was with the kiddos this afternoon. We went and got some, some new equipment. I'll tell you in a second why. And uh, I'm like, okay, tomorrow... Either Fonzie comes here later and he's going to edit those episodes or we just record one. There's something that I have in my chest. I call him like, hey, Fonzie, is it okay if I actually share this with uh, everybody on the show? And he's like, sure, let's do it. And I'll, ask, I'll, I'll tell you in a second why that's so important that I that I called him. But I'm very excited to, to share um, a little bit of this story, a little bit of what's coming, um, some of the plans that we've been thinking about over the last year for the show. Um... Maybe the network, we'll see. Uh, but anyway, so let's start officially with the recording. Uh, if you're tuning in live, let me know if you're in the comments. Say hello. And uh, I know it's late today, but it's awesome. Here, let's hang out. All right, here we go. We've got some fresh hey, new young I'm Louise. Doing some things <laughs> and welcome to Content is Profit. One, two, Here, three. you're going to get the insights, accountability, and the drive to create consistently and increase your revenue. You'll hear from top entrepreneurs, creators, and anything and everything you need to know about content, all this while having a good time. The goal of this podcast is simple, entertain, educate, and turn your content into profit. That is right. All right. Welcome to Content is Profit, everybody. Uh, Friday, late night edition today. The, well, the time I'm recording this is 10.47 p.m. And there's a damn good reason of why that is. Uh, earlier today, Fonsi was at this event of one of our clients, Michelle. Uh, shout out to Michelle. P Podpalooza, amazing presentation. Uh, they had about 100 people in that event. So huge shout out. We're deeply uh, grateful. And we got to present the six-figure platform in there. It was a huge success. Fonsi got a lot of good, good messages. Tons of followers. And I'm like, man, I was in a four-hour book launch strategy session. It's not for our book. Don't worry, but it's for somebody else that we deeply love and adore. And the message is so awesome. And we cannot share just yet who that person is, but I promise you, you're not going to be disappointed. So busy, busy day. And then obviously in the afternoon, uh, I was uh, I was actually doing dad jobs. <laughs> so at 5.30 in the afternoon, Katie goes, I'm like, hey, uh, I need you to sub in here. I need to go get some uh, some sandwiches because tomorrow we're going to be going to the beach with the kids and the family. Apparently, it's Father's Day. I had no idea. I was so involved <laughs> in work that I'm like, what? So, yes, we're going to be going to the beach. So, I took both kids and we got some new equipment because of something that I'm about to share today. So, I was going through my notion and this is live. What's up? Uh, I, I think you're coming from the group, so I don't know who you are. But just put your name in there. But hello, everybody that's coming in. Anyways, okay. So let's get right into it. Um, so earlier this week, um, I went to the shop. For those who don't know, I own a, a Jeep Wrangler. Love dream car. Absolute dream car. For all those Jeep owners, let me know. And, um, you know, as they're doing the service, this amazing shop, like I just hang out with them for like a couple hours. And, and Ryan, he's one of the managers in there. Uh, he just shows me around. He, we walk through the shop. We see the cars um, or the trucks, all the modifications that they're doing it. And for the longest time, I've had my Jeep like just stuck like uh there's like uh i only have tires on it but like there's no lift no nothing and the dream is for this car to like grow and here's here's why i tell the story this is so important right is because when i was growing up my older brother we have an older brother his name is mario he also had a jeep and i'm like man like ah, that's so cool and then when um we came to the states um and then the, the dream became a little bit more real and uh, we started making a little bit of money and we we're like oh maybe there's a possibility for me to buy this car um, the, the thing became really real, real. And I was dating Katie at the time and I go and pitch the idea that we should get a Jeep with the gas prices. I mean, right now it's like, what, five bucks a gallon. <laughs> Back then I think it was like two, two something. But, uh, but I go ahead and I pitch the idea of this Jeep and, and the pitch was around experiences. Hey, this car, this vehicle is actually, um, gonna let us go in, uh, to the beach, to camping, to explore, to the mountains. She was like, and just and I sold the idea on uh, on the Jeep to Katie uh, with the experiences. Now, if we go back before I came to the states, 
uh, in the year 2009, 2010, I had a massive surgery in my foot and I couldn't walk for about four months. I was just sitting uh, in the couch in my house, just recovering. Um, that's a, that's a whole different story at the time, but I had a lot of time in my hands and I would just grab my computer and I will start like searching for motivational things like motivational quotes. And then I started looking into websites where they had t-shirts and you could do custom t-shirts and stickers. And I'm like, man, like how cool would it be to have a brand like that? And at the time I was working for Red Bull and obviously I was working from home 10 years ago. <laughs> I couldn't move. Um, so, but I love the brand. Right. And whether whatever you think about the drink, but I love the brand, the things that they did, all the activities and I was doing on the marketing. I was dealing with athletes. It was just a very fun environment. I'm like, man, how cool would it be one day to have something like that? Now, the thought was there. I didn't execute much. And then I come to the university here in the States. And when I'm here in the States, I go through business management and entrepreneurship, right? That was uh, my my major. We have a saying back home: if like if you don't know what to to study, what what to go to school for, or what to study, um, just go for business management, and that's exactly what I did, right? So I got a soccer scholarship, and uh, really the priority was just playing soccer, and then school was this secondary thing for, for me. Uh, but in entrepreneurship class, they we actually start doing hands on uh, classes, and we start developing this fictitious businesses at first but then they start to evolve into something more real and this idea of the brand of the lifestyle brand that i had back home in venezuela uh, came to me and i'm like well might as well use it uh use these classes leverage and try to build something right so uh the initial concept was a blog where we share very very cool stories about amazing people in the world, right? So I was going online, I was trying to find all these videos, all these events, and and just put them in blog form. By the way, I had no idea how to build a blog, by the way, right now, I still have no idea how to build a blog. We, we know how to build shows, we know how to build podcasts, um, amazing exposure, but no, no blogs, that's why we hired somebody to do it. Uh, but at the time, it seemed like something super cool, and, and I just kind of put this, you know, WordPress site together, and I start documenting uh, these findings that I do on the web, and I put them in there. And the blog was called MassLife.co. Mass means more, means positive in Spanish, and life, obviously, life. So the positive life, and that was the whole concept, right? And I actually have a tattoo in my back that says Sem- Semper Felix, right, which means always positive. And that has been always something that I that I uh, seek, that, that is something that's uh, a mantra of mine that I try to be as positive as possible. And obviously on this entrepreneurship journey, there's a lot of situations that had put that to the test for sure. So I go ahead and I pitch the, the idea, the blog, and it's this like this uh this very malleable thing, right? And and people are like, Well, how are you gonna make money? And I'm like, I actually don't know. Uh, maybe ads on, on blog, but we need traffic. How do I get traffic? Uh, maybe I sell t-shirts. And there was like no idea on how to actually make money out of this thing. Now, uh, a year passes and then my senior year. I'm like, I want to do this something with this thing. And, and I had some money and I ordered these flags that said masslife.co and uh, with the whole brand, it's like orange color and the, the positive sign and this thing. And with my brother, we actually grabbed like 10, 10 other people that loved uh, the, the, the brand and the story and the thing. And we started putting these events. And the first event that we throw is a street soccer um, day. So we actually go out in a basketball court because in Venezuela we had these basketball courts that had soccer goals, but over here in the States, that's not a thing. So we build these goals out of PVC pipes and we just send a message on Facebook who we'll create a group and we were like, hey, street soccer on Wednesdays by Mass Life. And we, all of a sudden we had like these 40, 50 people coming out. We have music. We play this game. It's a 4v4. It's like one goal. If you score a goal, you stay and the whole team leaves. If both teams tie in less than five minutes, both teams come out amazing and we start having a lot of fun and then we're like oh my gosh these people are here what else can we do and uh, summer comes and we decided to throw four saturdays four events uh four saturdays in a row one of those saturdays was fourth of july um in jack's beach so we actually one of the the first day was a combined workout with an amazing uh fitness studio that we had at the time i think it's closed right now i think this was what five six years ago and uh, they came out and we had about 30 people taking an outdoor workout at the beach. And we had water, we had Gatorades, we had music out there and it was a lot of fun. Now the second day was 4th of July so we threw a massive beach party. We had almost 100 people come out, different tents. We had a couple of sponsors and it was just a, a great time. 
Then the third Saturday, we did uh, Games Day. And it was just, you know, those games that you play as a kid. We had the, the coconut game. We had relay races, a bunch of stuff. We had this trophy called the, the Golden Bucket. And uh, it was legit a, a plastic bucket, just spray painted <laughs> gold. And people were fighting for these trophies. And we just had a great experience. We made T-shirts at the time. We sold some T-shirts. We gave away a bunch of T-shirts. Um, if you actually go to my Instagram, you scroll down enough, you're going to be able to see those uh, those pictures. And we had a great time. And then the last Saturday, we just had a Floatopia. So we had a lot of people come out with their floaties. And uh, Monster came out, sponsored the event. We had a DJ out on the beach. And it was a lot of fun. Lots of work, but lots of fun. And we made zero, <laughs> zero money. Um, so after that, we're like, man, like we're exhausted. And we're like, what are we going to do with this? And uh, we, we sat down, me and my brother, and we said, we're like, look, Maybe this is something that we develop down down the road, uh, but for now, let's just focus on on um, my job. So I, I got hired, and that's where my professional life started. And mass life took a little bit of a backseat, right? So fast forward uh, to the initial story I was telling about the Jeep, right? And I'm here, and I'm thinking, I'm like, okay, um, I've been on these races. I've been on Tough Mudders, right? We, we, we've done eight-hour races, 24-hour races, um, right after college, and uh, the Jeep was a tool that allowed me to go do these experiences, right? And we've talked about on the on the show how do we expand the show? How do we should we go and do um, should we go and do and, and tackle a network? Should we start a network of shows? Should we start a, a network of creators? And we have this itch of creation, right? We you guys know the story about how we started the podcast, uh, how we did Forty Five Live. And lately, uh, the itch has come back on obviously not only the show on how we can grow it with obviously the help of our amazing sponsors, Hotspot, uh, but also on different avenues. How can we help people on different frameworks on creation, right? We get all these uh, inquiries on like how to stay consistent and creators are not only on podcasting, but they, they're YouTubers or people on Instagram, people with businesses, right? And we're always exploring these new frameworks. So I was thinking, I'm like, okay, so we have all these things, all these frameworks, and we want to try new things, and we have the team, we have the capacity to now execute on something like this. What about we bring the Mass Life brand back? Hmm. That sounds so good. And uh, by the way, this is just me talking to myself. <laughs> so this sounds so good. And, uh, and I'm like, okay, how can we bring it back? So what are we really good at? We're really good at launching shows. We're really good at executing on shows like this one, like podcasts, right? So should we start a mass live show? Which, by the way, fun fact, we did the same day that we started Contents Profit. We did it in Spanish, but Contents Profit grabbed a ton of traction very quickly, and that's why the focus was there initially. But now that we have some capacity, I'm like, okay, should we do something like that? The concept, same thing. Like, can we chase, can we find people that are super awesome, that are doing amazing things, whether those are entrepreneurs or athletes or whatever, right? And sh let them share those stories, ask those questions, make connections, build relationships, which is what we do with the show in a different sense, right? Not so much on the business side, but on the life side right and the personal growth and all these things and i'm like oh my okay that sounds awesome when should we do it should we do it on saturdays should we do it like during the week so we're working through all these things in my mind and uh then wednesday comes and i'm out there at the shop with the jeep and uh we're going through all these uh upgrades <laughs> that we need to do to the jeep not need to do i want to do right like i want to lift it i want to put bigger tires i want to put some audio we want to put the roof tent we're going to put the the roof rack all these things to go and do adventures right then i'm like okay i really want to do this thing but i don't want to pay the ten thousand dollars i don't have the ten thousand dollars to pay for the, all these things how do we do this and then the show came back i'm like what about we start this mass life show we talk about these experiences we go for sponsors which by the way we were never active for uh in contents profit looking for sponsorships this will be like a case study kind of deal and we leverage these experiences we leverage this show for a creation framework that we can maybe teach on contents profit maybe we can document on contents profit while at the same time we have a damn good time <laughs> with all these experiences so we're working through the concept. I'm putting it on paper, right? This is the reason I'm putting it out here, just to see if I can get it out of my head and see if I can make some sense of it. So after the shop, I call my brother. I'm like, man, we have to start the Mass Life show again. Maybe it's a podcast. Maybe it's a YouTube show. Maybe it's a, maybe we document like our road uh, to the world toughest mother at the end of this year. Like 
uh, maybe we document me being in shape, like getting back in shape, right? I'm, I'm the worst physical shape of my life. I'm like, okay, it could be a cool project that we can create frameworks and content around these experiences while at the same time having a good time. So um, those are my thoughts. What do you think? Should we start the Mass Life show? It's a different concept, right? Should we document it to uh, for content is profit and content momentum and share that with the community so people find um, interesting what we're doing? So the initial concept, right? And this is why I was out buying equipment. We actually went out and got a couple of GoPros to go and, and document those experiences. So the initial concept, here's what it is. The initial concept is one piece of content, which is the podcast, Mass Life Podcast. So that's interview style. We're going to find cool people. So if you're listening and you are a cool person <laughs> or you have cool stories, you've lived amazing things, doesn't have to be business related. This is more like life related, uh, cool experiences, different things, right? Uh, send me a DM at Luis da Camejo on Instagram, or you can do at Beast Brusco. Send me a message. Be like, hey, Luis, maybe I have a cool story that we can share on the Mass Life show. So we'll do that. I don't know what days we're going to be recording, but that's one piece of content that we're going to put out. Obviously, there's going to be the micro content that comes out of that because we have our amazing team that can, that can do that. Uh, so we're going to test some stuff in there. Then the second concept is, okay, this is where I'm debating. I'm going to, maybe I do a vlog of experiences. So experiences for the first time, like when was the last time you did something for the first time? By the way, I uh, attribute that to Tough Mudder. That's their tagline, I think. But uh, when's the last time you did something for the first time? So tomorrow, uh, it's not the first time, but we're going to go to the beach with the two kids. Uh, it's the second time that we go with the two kids. But it's the first time I'm actually going to document that experience <laughs> with the camera and, uh, and try to do a vlog myself. Mm. So, yes, we do have a team that can help us with that. But I really want to go through the process. I really want to go through the creative process to understand a little bit better what it's like to do something like that. And then we can help um, serve our clients a little bit more. So I'm very excited to go try that out. Uh, see if I can stay consistent with those. The backup to the experiences vlogging side of things is going to be documenting the week towards a big objective. And that big objective is a 24-hour race. Uh, at the end of the year, November, um, I think it's in Alabama. So super excited for that. Let me know. Do you like the idea of the podcast? Do you like the idea of the experience vlogs? Do you like the idea of the weekly, the weekly document, documenting the experience on something like this? Either or, if you have any other ideas, send them my way. Uh, I share this with a the coach. There's a, bigger, there's a bigger vision to this but I'm not going to share it just yet. So um, I called Fonzi ahead. I was like, hey, should I talk about this on the show? He's like, sure, why not? <laughs> I'm going to be playing soccer. I don't care. <laughs> so I'm super excited um, to try this out, see if I can keep com consistent. Now it seems a little easier because we have the systems and the, the things in place. At first it was hard. I want to I wanna try and go and relive some, something like that and uh, build something from scratch, document it and see what the results are. So if you're interested in consuming the content, if you're interested in sponsoring the content, let me know. And uh, we can leverage that money for a bunch of bunch of views and, and grow the show real, real quick. So anyways, those are my thoughts today. Um, send me a message if you like it, if you didn't like it. And then on the next couple of episodes, you have Fonzie with amazing, amazing entrepreneurs that he interviewed today in Podpalooza. Shout out, Michelle. Thank you so much for having us. And uh, yeah, with that said, thank you so much for tuning into the Content is Profit podcast. Go ahead and follow the show. And on social media at Base Bros Go. If you're enjoying these episodes, please don't forget to share it with a loved one and uh, leave us an honest review. Put it in there. We love you. Thank you. See you later. <laughs>